Preservation is something that all small towns and all cities should do because without history, you really don't have a future. It's the beginning of Broomfield, what people went through and the uniqueness of some of the events that happened and part of the character of Broomfield. Shep was a stray as a pup was running around and he didn't have any place to live and he didn't have a house and he didn't have any family. And the turnpike was a building down there. Years ago when the toll road just first came out, this was a farming community and nobody ever even heard of a toll road, first of all. So he just adopted the people that ran the, the toll booth and then they adopted him. And then all the people that went back and forth adopted Shep. When they paid the toll to go up to Boulder or go to Denver, that dog was there. To be honest, that dog just kind of connected everybody. I drove back and forth from Denver to Broomfield. So I saw Shep every day, and I think he really liked everything I brought. The vivid memory I have of Shep is just sitting all relaxed, sunning himself there, and you know, it was, it was kind of awesome. You know, you could yell at Shep and say, hey, come here. And, he just at his own pace. But they uh, used to have a little bucket on the side of the toll booth and, and you could put your spare change in there to, for Shep's upkeep. And you know, my sister and I argued all the time who got to throw the change in. He was not an excitable dog. He just kind of did his thing. He was kind of a unique character. I, along with a lot, a lot of other people, uh, uh, used to see him sunning himself on the east side of the toll booth. Oh, well, he was just a good little dog. And he was just always out there and you always planned on it. You took your treats, you took a bag of treats, or you took them in your hand and he expected them. He just expected them. And then people would take food to him and he was just the turnpike dog. And the turnpike, the highway, is what got Broomfield going. Broomfield was nothing before the turnpike. Clyde Bruner, the veterinarian, took care of him if he got sick, gave him his shots. Well, all of my patients are special, but Shep was somewhat extraordinary. Uh, he and I kind of formed a, a close relationship through uh, my caring for him. You talk about uh, the Bruner house. Well, that's part of Clyde. Clyde uh, is actually original Broomfield. He was, he was born in Broomfield, raised in Broomfield. You know, he's been a veterinarian here for Lord knows how, how long. When Shep would get into, you know, some of his little activities, you know, Clyde would patch him up and uh, you know, that's how they created that bond. Once he started getting older and he was having some struggles that uh, the gentleman in the booth actually took him to Clyde and it was time to euthanize him. They set up a memorial, you know, they, they wanted to bury him out there. When I heard we were going to have the possibility of moving Shep to a, a new location, I wanted to be a part of it since I've, I've been here for, for a long time and I still feel it's a really unique part of history of Broomfield. Today we're up here at Shep's gravesite and today we're going to remove the headstone. Uh, we're going to take the fencing and, and move uh, Shep up to his new location. We're relocating him up at the depot, which is another historical landmark part of Broomfield next to the Honey House. It kind of just adds to, uh, you know, a central location of all the historical things that happened in Broomfield. My promise to Clyde is that we're going to take care of it the best and I've got so full support from the city manager's office. So it's a great project. And we know it's going to be there forever. It's going to be there long after I'm gone, so my grandkids could see the story of Shep. So we're going to take the fencing, the grave site itself, and we're going to take the headstones, and we're going to take them up to the new site at the depot. And yeah, just tie it down. OK. He wasn't really a, a social dog. He just kind of went his own way. And my favorite picture is him laying in front of the toll booth. We'll get that picture and we'll put it in a clear oval shape and then glue it back there so people will be able to see what he looks like. What we're going to do up there is we're going to take it back to its original form. We're going to encase all the, the fence corners and then we're going to reset the headstone. Well, we're going to have a little path. This is the, sh the roses. Going to put a roses. And here's the stepping stones towards Shep's memorial. And then you see the shrubbery that we've got going in here. So it's awesome that this day has finally come, and we get to we get to move part of Broomfield history uh, right alongside uh, the depot and the Crawford Honey House. Just more history of Broomfield. You want to keep the uh, integrity of the fence together, and it's such an old fence that you don't want to bend it up and stuff. So yeah, it's pretty pretty important that we 
at least have four people on it to make sure we, we lift it the right way. It's great. I think it's fun. It's a fun thing to be a part of it. It's pretty awesome. Isn't it wonderful? I think it's wonderful. I do too. I, I think, think it's, it's awesome. terrific. He'll be yep. here forever. It's so rewarding to be able to, to look at this, to be able to come up here tonight if I want to, and I can say, okay, there, there, Chef, I don't have to go out there anymore. I come right here and he'll be here every day with me. And I can come out here and talk to him and visit with him and see him and, and he'll be here. This is a very special day, the 100th anniversary of the Broomfield Depot. Well, today we're celebrating the 100th anniversary of the Broomfield Depot. Its original location was over by the railroad tracks, and we thought it would be a really special day to invite a lot of the older farming community and all the people in the neighborhood to come celebrate this uh, momentous occasion. In memory of that, we put together a cookbook, and in this cookbook, we have recipes from a lot of the original farm families, so we're selling those to commemorate the 100th anniversary of the Broomfield Depot. Uh, the cookbooks are available at the Senior Center. They're available at the City and County of Broomfield. They're also in, available here at the Broomfield Depot and also online. Now, the, the newest addition to the Depot Museum grounds is Shep's Grave here. We are absolutely so excited that we got Shep's grave moved over here on the museum site. CDOT and the City of Broomfield worked together to make that happen, and now the school kids can come by, they can see that little grave and that little stone. The turnpike dog, when I was a kid, it was 10 cents to take that uh, bus, and that dog was always there in the toll booth. So it's a special memory for a lot of the old timers, and it's nice to share those kind of things with people that, that didn't live here then. When I was a little kid, these people were a part of this community, and they're here today, and they're celebrating with us. So it's, it's absolutely wonderful to see the sense of community and the coming together, just like it used to be in the old days with the old farm families, and they would have potlucks and, and that kind of thing. This is what it reminds me of today. Well, we have to preserve history. Without history, you don't have anything. The whole initial thing is bringing the community together. I think it kind of tells a story of some of the history of Broomfield, you know. I think when people see this for the first time, they're gonna to wanna to know more about Shep. I think the people that are here today are people that have some kind of remembrance of Shep. We've kept him alive, even though it's been 45 years since he passed on. This dog represented an old farming community that had a toll road that paid for that road in record time. And I just think that, that people should know Shep was a part of our community. Yeah, hey, this is my hometown. Uh, this is where I grew up, and to be involved in something like that, it's, it's very gratifying for me. Old timers remember Shep, and people going, well, how could you care about a, a dog that just hung out? Well, it was the uniqueness of it, is the dog just showed up, and you know, you kind of think back and say, you know, all these good people took care of this dog for years. But as it says down here, he was all heart. <laughs>